How do we accomplish this? Listen to your professor. Genes that stop cell division are called tumor suppressors. And it's go, 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 says the oncogene aggressor. And it's no, 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 thanks to our tumor suppressor. There's a thing in a tumor suppressor gene. No one to say no, and a tumor's on the scene. Extracellular <laughs> cells when to divide. They activate receptors so the signal gets inside. A gain of function mutation in the receptor gene will encourage cell, encourage cell division, though no signal can be seen. And if your heterozygous 4P53 a predisposition to cancer, they will be. All it takes is one mutation in your wild type copy, then there's no cell cycle checkpoints. Nothing to say, stop the end. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Says the oncogene aggressor. And no, no, no. Thanks to our tumor suppressor. But what if there's a hit in a tumor suppressor gene? No one to say no, and a tumor's on the scene. This last one. <laughs> That's just fine. As long as it's contained, then it's called benign. If it is invasive, it could make you quite indignant. Cause now it's full blown cancer, and we say that it's malignant. And if one of those cancer cells decides to go astray, it could move into your blood or lymph and then go away. When it moves around like this, we say it's metastatic. Now you can have lung cancer too, not just pancreatic. <laughs> No one to say no, and a tumor's on the scene.